Our group, we consider ourselves para-historians, and one of the guys in the group kind of invented that phrase. Mm -hmm. So we try to go places that everyone can go to a prison and it's going to scare you, but we would rather go to a place that has more history and you can learn from it and teach people about the history of the building mm -hmm. along with you know bringing that paranormal side into it that is going to attract people. Um, well, the team is really big on history because they're para-historians. So I think that's a big thing is like finding out about the place, researching the place, and trying to use history to draw something up and figure out what's there. So I think that's like a huge part of what the team's about. We do a lot of like museums and, and things like that where there's a lot of history tied to it. And we there's so much history, like one room will be dedicated to this, one room will be dedicated to this. But prior to that, that was a funeral home. I think the big thing is getting history of the place that you're at. So you know what you're, you're dealing with, you know. When it comes to investigating, we got to get down and try to figure out what's going on there as far as if it's prior to this museum being there, is it uh, something before the building itself was there. We ran into that case one time. The building was built in 1940, but the, all the spirits that were residing there, um, after digging up the history, the EVPs that we caught sounded like they were frantic. They were trying to get out of a house, which led to me to believe that there was a fire there. Doing the research, back in 1889, there was a farmhouse sitting on that property that did burn. And every family member in that house lost their life. And now they're residing in the same spot in a building that was built 50, about 50 years later. So um, I found that kind of uh, intriguing. I try and bring up uh, uh, interviews or if I'm speaking and trying to get spirit activity, something related to that time era or what I might think that the spirit might react to and see if they do respond to those type of things. Um, it, it all starts off with the history. We're not gonna go into a Civil War battlefield looking for kids. Um, so a, a lot of it starts off with the history, um, what the building was used for. Say this area was used for a hospital at one point, an insane asylum at one point, uh, daycare at one point, and we're gonna kinda put it out there We'll try a little bit from the hospital, maybe play ourselves up as doctors, put a, a doctor's coat and a stethoscope on, and we'll play it up from that. And that's what really gets them going when they, they hear things that they can relate to. Mm -hmm. And that's what I find helps interact with them. We have used music. We dressed up in Civil War clothing. Um, we've gone up to counters and tried to order uh, drinks, uh, try to send a letter. We've done a post office where we've tried to send a, a letter out and we've actually had about five minute interaction take with the whole process of mailing a letter out. I'm sure it's a long time since they've interacted with people. So they're, some of them are very willing to answer questions, talk with you and some are more shy. You just get more of the, we're here and then you don't answer anything for a while. Do you want us to leave? And then things happen, so. Some of them just want nothing to do with us. But we'll just, we'll kind of go through the whole time period in history and try to relive it right there on the spot and, and see if we get any kind of response. And then once we get that response, we kind of have something to, to, to go off of.